Are you recording already? Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Um, something to let you know. There's a rumor going around that a one Johnny Jacobs might make an appearance here. You've never heard of Johnny Jacobs. Nobody really has. He's um, he's supposed to be a serial killer, but he's kind of a failed serial killer here in town. He's an ex-cable um, installer who lost his job due to the popularity of streaming. And he heard that there was going to be some sort of a internet television show uh, being filmed here at this location tonight. And the rumor is that he's going to show up. How have we prepared for him to show up? We haven't. Apparently he's attempted to kill over um, 100 people. Never even gotten close. He's so bad at trying to kill people, in fact that he's never even been charged with anything. <laughs> like that's just how bad he is. Um, but Johnny Jacobs, he's uh, known as the cord cutter cutter. Um, he is the um, streaming slasher. He's got a lot of names that he came up with. Nobody really calls him any of this stuff, but rumor is he might try to show up and interrupt this thing. So if he does, then you'll see him. Welcome to Graphic Content, episode one from season one. I'm your host, Muji. Son known as the Great Muji. If you want to follow me on Twitter and uh, hear about one tweet per month, you can follow me at the Great Muji if you like a little lack of content. But uh, what we're going to do here is every show we're going to talk about some sort of comic book is going to be the main thing. We may get into the books. There's only so many horror comics. But um, first up, we're going to be talking about some different Halloween comics. Figure new Halloween movies coming out, perfect time to go over some of my childhood favorites. So let's stress childhood favorites. We're gonna, we're gonna really more talk about how much we love them, not talk about so much some of the bad stuff in them, because some of these, they have some bad stuff. But some of the stuff is so bad, we're just gonna have to bring it up. So the first one we're gonna be talking about right here, you saw Halloween 1. Halloween 1, which came out in the year 2000, it is a set between uh, Halloween 6 and then Halloween H2O, it's right after Halloween 6, is actually uh, co-written by Phil Nutman, great name, and Daniel Farrens, who was the writer of Halloween 6, also known as the abortion Halloween 6. Um, and then we had some art by David Brewer. The gimmick on this is it's a continuation of Tommy Doyle's story. Um, Tommy Doyle has decided to write a book about his history with Michael Myers and you know all the events that happened since his childhood up till now. And he has gotten the inside tip that Dr. Loomis, who's now passed away, has left a journal with um, a bunch of secret case files about Michael Myers. So of course he wants to go retrieve that. And much like every um, Batman movie does the unnecessary thing of telling you the origin story, the first thing this does has to give you a bunch of dialogue from Halloween and show Michael Myers uh, killing Judith. That takes up about a third of the comic. Which is fine, you know, but you assume anybody buying this comic has probably seen Halloween about a thousand times, just like Muji has. Um, and then that's basically the rest of the comic is Tommy is going and uh, getting the journal. Of course, Michael's alive. He starts talking to Tommy. You get to find out some great things from uh, Michael's past, which this is supposed to be in canon with the Halloween movies. I'm sure now with like Blumhouse involved and the different stuff, it's probably no longer any sort of canon. Back then they made a big deal about the fact that this was stories that counted. And some of the stories that happened that really would throw off the first Halloween, uh, Michael killed a bunch of the children <laughs> when he was a child in Smith's Grove. You figured that would have been a big deal if the story wouldn't have been just he killed his uh, sister. Another giant one, Dr. Loomis has a fiance in this. That's right, a fiance who Michael murders at a Halloween party. Child Michael kills his fiance, and that's never brought up ever again. It's just something that happened that they don't talk about at all. Um, there are some cool kills in the in the uh, in the actual comic, so I do recommend it. It's a good comic if you're a big Halloween fan like I am. Um, 
The uh, comic ends, of course, with Michael getting away. Tommy puts a few more bullets in him, and it ends up being just like the end of Halloween 1. He falls out a window, gets away, and that's it. Um, some of the um, things that movies you can live without are just so many names in this movie. Whenever you watch a horror movie, it's um, a real tradition to throw in a character, maybe to their named after some previous horror greats. This one goes overboard. We have a Dr. Carpenter, another doctor, and Dr. Hill. We've got a man named Cyphers. Um, we've got just about 10. We're not going to go over all of them, but almost every character in here is somebody who worked on the first Halloween uh, movie. But it's a fun comic. Like I said, it's nothing really original. It's just Tommy trying to figure out what was going on with Michael. Michael gets away. Um, it's really kind of a retelling of Halloween 1, just set with Tommy as Dr. Loomis instead. But if you like Halloween, still recommend it. And uh, that's going to be it for the first episode of Graphic Content, and um, we'll see you next time. Alright, awesome. First one in the books. Um, so honestly, what'd you think about that one? How was it? Uh, not good. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, I mean, you know, I don't really like being in front of the camera. I just kind of do this so that we have extra content so we can fill that thing up. I mean, you know, what do you think I could have done better? I mean, you look down a lot, so, you know, maybe work on that a little bit. But it's the first episode. It'll definitely get better. Looks like he's here.